Well, karma can be a real bitch, can it? Um. <laughs> yeah, karma can be a real bitch. Especially when it, so when you do something to somebody. Hmm. Let's get to it. Hello everyone, uh, just, just a little video, um, not a ranting video at all, but explaining, uh, what happened on my live stream, I think it was yesterday afternoon around, I think it was on the first stream or on the second stream, I'm not sure, but, uh, yeah, um, uh, I was on my live stream yesterday playing Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and by the way, I'm having a one hell of a fun time playing it. Um, <laughs> um, apparently, um, I got, I got a message, I got a call from my mom, okay? Um, uh, 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 my, my parent is still alive and kicking, thank God she is still alive, you know? Uh, she's the only parent I have, uh, the, uh, parent I, uh, now, my dad passed away back in 2015, as, uh, now, let me explain what happened, okay, in the past, okay, we're gonna, I know people now say never talk about the past, well, or never look back at the past, well, I'm actually gonna talk about the past, because something actually happened in the past, and it came back and bit somebody on the ass, okay, uh, yesterday, okay, so, this is why we're going to get uh, going to talk about the past and for um, for those who are new to my channel and did not know what the hell happened, you know, what was going on uh, on that video yes on my last stream yesterday and what the hell I was talking about. Um, allow me to explain, okay? So back in 2015, uh, before I even lived here, okay. Um, I had this wonderful place, okay? It was a wonderful place. Even though this place is wonderful, I love it here, you know. New, a good, a good, very good landlord and a good, very good maintenance guy. Takes good care, a good care of the place, you know. Better people than what I had, okay? Um, but back in 2015, um... I, uh, some people, now, I want to, uh, first of all, also say here and say some people think I'm buying, okay? People think I actually buy, I own my own house and a mortgage and all that stuff. Dream on, I'm not rich, okay? I'm not rich. I, I'm like everybody else. I'm poor, you know? And, um, I don't own a house. I don't have a mortgage or anything like that. I rent, okay, I only rent either houses or apartments or trailers, mobile homes, whatever I can get my hands on, okay, or whatever is available, okay, so this place I was living in before, I was living, I moved in there, uh, lived in this place back in, uh, way before I became a YouTuber, okay, and I moved in there back in tw back in 20 11, uh, between uh, I think tw uh, yeah 20 uh, I moved in there back in 20 2011 or 2012 whatever you know I lived there I uh, lived in there for five years okay for five years just like I do here uh, like I, I'm living here I've lived here for five years now okay and uh, the guy I lived in, I was written off of as a real nice guy. It was really nice. He has a daughter who I didn't know was going to backstab me later on, in, later on in the future, okay? So, 2015 came. It was a real shit show uh, for, 20, uh, for 2015 because my dad, um, my dad lived in somewhere in Tennessee I'm not gonna say where exactly where you know but he lived with my sister in Tennessee and uh, my sister was taking good care of him you know 
sometimes he would be in a nurse's home. Sometimes he would live with my sister, you know. It would go back and forth, you know. He was a good man. He was a good dad, you know. Uh, a nut, uh, sometimes a loony and sometimes a nut, but he was also a funny-ass guy, okay. Uh, that's where I got half of my humor from, uh, my attitude from, and my personality from. Okay, I got I take uh, I take half of it after him. Mostly I take it after my uncle, his uh, his brother. Okay, um, so here's the thing is okay. Uh, so back, uh, we we had to leave uh, home almost every day. To go to see my dad because uh, my dad apparently had a massive heart attack. Okay, he had a massive heart attack, and um, and he and he had and he had and he had a massive heart attack in the bathroom. Okay, he had a massive heart attack in the in in the in the nursing home and in, in the in the bathroom. They didn't know anything about it until all of a sudden uh, he he didn't he. Didn't, it took too long. They went in there and checked on him. They they found him in the floor dead in the bathroom, uh, uh, bathroom and uh, dead. You know, they got the ambulance out there. Uh, they tried to bring him back. They couldn't. So they they uh, got him in a helicopter and uh, t uh, flew, uh, flew him to the helicopter, uh, flew him to the hospital. On the way there, they they done everything they could. They brought him back to, and they brought him back. And they finally brought him back. But when he did, um, he was paralyzed. He wasn't. He couldn't. You couldn't talk to him. He wouldn't answer. Uh, it was real bad. He was on his deathbed. Okay, he was on his deathbed. They put and they had him on all kinds of machines. You know, it was just really terrible. Okay, so we had to go back and forth between my home, between home and back to Tennessee to decide on the family what we're going to do you know it was really hard and I don't uh put the I don't I don't put this on anybody you know uh, even on my worst enemy I don't and we had to make it we had to make a choice to either let him suffer and stay alive and stay alive like this you know and and let him suffer for the rest of his life or to let him go and pull the plug and pull the plug and, and see if he can actually make it on his own. We pulled it and we decided it was a hard decision. I felt like I killed my own dad, you know, because of it, you know, and I still regret it, you know. But in a way, I I regretted it. But in a way, I feel good. I did it, you know. We we did it, you know. Um. We all. Um, it was me. My brother, my sit, well, it was me, my brother, my sister, the whole family. It was a whole bunch, okay. All of us was there, okay. Even my niece, even my little niece was there, and we couldn't even find her because she was upset. She went to the bathroom and started bawling out, crying. I don't blame her because I was doing the same thing. I was bawling out, crying. I couldn't hold it back. None of us could, you know, and um, so. We made a decision to go ahead and pull the plug, and then we, after we did, we thought everything was going to be okay, and then, and then the nurse came in there and said, "No, he's he's gone. He he's not make, he's not gonna make it on his own." So, next day, you know, uh, we got a call and saying that uh, my sister got a call and saying that he she needs to come to the hospital. He's he's not gonna make it today. You know, he's he's dying. You know, so she went there and just when she got there, my dad was gone. And um, it was really hard on all of us, you know. Uh, we buried him on that on the day on the on the same on the same year of 2015, you know. Uh, the next year, the next year, which was uh, 2016, um, I was still living at my at my uh, old old apartment. And uh, later on uh, that year of uh, 2016 my uncle my dad's on my dad's side uh passed away and uh he and uh, he died at, uh with uh of a massive heart attack you know and um and 
it was it took a it really took a toll on me really hard on me you know um it took almost three uh almost three years to get over it you know and um uh really changed me you know it really really changed me you know from not for the better but for the worse you know um and I was in a dark place for a while because because of it, you know. And my uh, um, my uncle, which is my mom's brother, uh, came over. He saw the way I was looking, you know. He was trying to uh, uh, talk to me, you know, and he was hanging out with me, you know, trying. And he he's the one who brought me back, you know. He's the one who brought me out of the darkness, you know, and brought me back to the way I I used to be, you know, as a good honest uh loving guy you know funny guy okay he's the one that brought me back you know and um uh then all of a sudden uh at the end of 2016 okay it was back in february uh, back in february okay uh sometime in february i think it was february started or in or especially the end i'm not sure yeah, it was. I think it was, in, it was in between. Okay. Uh, the place I was living in was beautiful. Okay, it was it was beautiful. Uh, keep in mind, I was a YouTuber uh, at the at that at that year, 2016. Okay. I was a YouTuber. I was a part-time YouTuber. I was I was making videos on my YouTube channel, uh, recording on my, with my only my with my camera, you know. Uh, sometimes, when, but when I, with my PS4, I was uh, actually uh, doing drag, uh, I was doing drag, I was doing capture with my with my PS4. No webcam, and sometimes I was use, I was sometimes trying to live stream with my with my PS4. Keep in mind, at that place, the internet was complete dog shit. I couldn't hardly do anything with that internet at all. It was that it was that fucking bad, and there was nothing I could do about it at the time. And uh, and I was also having problems with my with my old PS4 because it was the uh, the original version, and it was a it was dog shit. Okay, and um, so all of a sudden, um, it was getting cold. The maintenance I had to make this guy can every now and then come over here over, over my place, you know, at my old place, you know, and having to take an air conditioner out and put a new one in because to keep me nice and warm. I was always freezing my ass off because the maintenance guy didn't give two shits, you know. And um, there was a hole in the, in the, in the uh, laundry room. Um, and there was always a leak in there, you know. And I couldn't do anything about it, you know. And they had to rip the floor, and they had to rip the wall out, you know, to, to fix it, you know. And they found out the the the, the pipe was one. It was it was it was going. It was a pipe doing it, you know. And they were trying to fix it. And it was a lot. It was a real mess, you know. The next door neighbor moved out because of it, you know. And then all of a sudden, here comes my landlord. Okay, the landlord, uh, my old landlord, not my new one, but my old one. Okay. So she came in there with her friend, okay, who hangs out uh, now hangs out with my cousin, with my uh, with my girl cousin. Um, she, uh, she came in there with her with my with my landlord, looked around, you know, and I and I was right in the middle of washing my clothes and everything, you know, and she did not like the way the place looked okay the place was spotless so the place was cleaned i was washing my damn my, my damn clothes she uh before she left she complained she bitched about the place you know about how the place looked you know this and that you know and told me i had 24 i had a, i had 24 hours or a whole week to clean the damn place so i did I cleaned the whole um, place for a whole week. My mom came in there and saw the whole place and how spotless it looked, how really clean it looked. The landlord came in there, shill over it, told me it looked. It looked. It looked like she. 
It's like she came in here and took a big dump on my front room, you know. She didn't care. It didn't look good to her or anything like that, you know. I mean, just completely crapped on it, you know. And then she sit there and came in my, clo in, my, in my closet and told me all my personal shit, you know. My electronics, everything has to go. All of it. My personal stuff, uh... My trunk, everything had to go out the door. Had had to, I had to throw. It. She told me I, I would, for me to stay there. I had to throw everything out. My TV, my PS4, um, my computer, everything. I couldn't have anything of mine in the apartment. At all it all had to be hers. And she said I had twenty, and I had twenty four hours to do it, or else. I had to move out. And right there I told her, I said, Go fuck yourself. I'm, mo I'm, I'm just going to find another place to live. You just lost a fucking renter. And I hope you burn in hell. And that lady was right next to her. And she said, Well, you could do this and do that. I said, You can go fuck yourself as well. And I said, By the way, are you, are you her sister? And she said, No. I said, Then go fuck yourself then. I said, stay out of this, I said, stay out of this. Uh, this is not your business, stay the fuck out. Or else I'm gonna have, I'm, I got, I got a woman that'll beat your fucking ass in. And as soon as I said that, they all walked, and they both walked away. And, uh, then all of a sudden, my mom wanted me to stay with her for a few weeks, and I, I, I refused to, because I had things, I couldn't, I couldn't even do it, you know, I had things, I had to find me another place, you know. So mom got my mom got mad at me, you know, and I couldn't find no place to live, you know. I was on the street, okay. I was out on the street. I was asked my mom, "Can I stay with her?" She refused. She would turn me down. Wouldn't do it, you know. Um. So then I asked my brother, "Could I move in with him, or stay and not move in with him, but stay with him for until I found me a place?" My brother absolutely yes said yes. Uh, he called his uh, he called his landlord. His landlord was a bitch, was a fucking bastard, and uh, said no. You cannot let him stay with you. I don't care how long it takes. No, he's got to stay on the street. He cannot let he cannot stay with you. My brother said, I don't care what he says. You're my baby brother. I'm not allowing my baby brother to be out in the streets like this. That was not your fault. You're not going to be treated like this. You're staying with here with me. I don't care what he says. So I took my what, what stuff I had, like my computer, my computer, my and my TV, all the my electronics, stuff, all my good stuff. You know, all the stuff I had, what what half of the stuff I had, my personal stuff. I moved it in with him and my 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 good friend Jerry. Uh, who's also on my videos of Dragon Ball Z. Um, I stayed with him. I told my brother I'd pay him $75 a month, you know, uh, or, yeah, a month, you know, until I found me a place. I only lived there for two or three days because, uh, um, because, uh, I found me a place, uh, and the landlord I'm li I, I, I'm written off of now, which is a really good landlord, I told, I explained to her what's going on, what happened, you know, and she gave me a key. She uh, let me look at the place. I told her I like it, and she says it's not is it's not a real fancy uh, a mansion, you know, like a mansion or anything. You know, it's not like a a two thousand dollar place. I was like, I don't care. I was like, I don't care what the place looks like as long as I have a place, as long as I have a roof over my head. And she I explained to her today, consider it done. So I done it, moved in here, you know, and then um. Uh, she goes off and telling and telling spreading uh, spreading a fucking rumor is not bu it's bullshit, you know. Saying telling my family, telling uh, telling the whole town that I threw shit all over the apartment, you know. The the I I cost her millions of fucking dollars that I had shit thrown all over the apartment, you know, and it looked like. Uh, it looked god awful and everything this and that, you know, and that my family could never move, uh, move in, move in, rent from her again, and basically my family just told her just go fuck yourself because 
my family knew that was bullshit that was a lie and my my uncle my dad I'm not my my dad but my uncle my brother uh, my mom even my aunts they all came in my house, in that apartment before I moved out you know they saw how clean it was you know and it wasn't looking anything like that so she was full of shit you know and so they said to go fuck yourself and um, and all of a sudden I sit there and said don't worry mom don't worry about it karma is a fucking bitch okay karma is a fucking bitch uh, and something's gonna happen, okay? Car uh, karma's gonna come back at her, and for what she did, and for the way she treated me, the way she done me, karma's gonna come back and bite her on the ass real hard, okay? Well, everyone, not once, but twice it happened to her, okay? One. The first time it happened to her, uh, her whole place wound up having bed bugs in the apartments. Yeah. She had bed bugs all in her apartments and uh, it cost her it cost it cost her it cost her almost two three hundred dollars to get rid of that shit. And now yesterday <laughs> And thankfully nobody was in was in there. Okay, thankfully nobody got hurt. Nobody was in this apartment at all. But uh, in the old apartment that I, uh, that I lived in, caught on fire. The whole place. I don't know if it caught. I don't know if it burnt to the ground or not. But the whole place caught on fire, and now it's going to cost her fucking millions of dollars to rebuild, to tear that place down and rebuild the whole thing again. All I can say to you, I'm thankful. I'm so glad that nobody got hurt and nobody was in there when it happened. But. Good. Serves that fucking bitch right. That's what you get. That's what the fucking bitch get for treating her uh, her renters like that. You know, you don't treat people. Uh, if you treat respect, if you treat people with respect, if you treat people with respect that they deserve, like human beings, you treat people right. Good things will happen to you. Okay? You treat people like dirt. You treat people like shit. Or trying to scam people. Or trying to rip people off. Or anything like that. And bad shit's gonna happen to you in the past. Or, excuse me. And let me recorrect that. Let me, let me uh, recorrect that. Okay? Things can happen to you in the future. If you, if you're, uh, uh, the, if you treat people like dirt, tra uh, trash, disrespect people, scam people, rip people off, things can, uh, karma can, uh, uh, karma's a bitch, and it can come back and bite you on the ass, bite you on the ass hard. In the future, so fair warning to every uh, for, to those who are who who does who does do this shit. Fair warning to you. Be nice to people. Be nice to your renters. Be nice to your customers. Okay. Respect. Uh, I fully respect people. Okay. My my subscribers, my viewers, even my news viewers. I respect them. I don't cuss them out. I don't scam nobody. I don't rip people off. I don't do anything like that. You know, I treat them with respect. And I, as long as they respect me, I respect them. Okay? That's how it works. And that's what you should do as well. Okay? So, this is what happened yesterday. Um, 
my mom called Gail and got hold of me and told me that uh, there's smoke all over the place. And I looked out. I had to look out the window and, and found out there wasn't no smoke around here. She said, "Well, in her area there is," and she didn't know, but she talked to my brother and brother about it, and she called my brother. But my brother told her uh, it was a place that I used to live in, caught on fire. And uh, she went. And looked, she had to take her walk and dog, and dog walk her dog around, you know, to use the bathroom. And she went walking over there and found out and, and saw it, and it was. And uh, all I can say is, 